Okay, so we're up to, let's see, I'm at 12.9, 13, 13.3. Now we'll let the moving truck go by, or we'll get on the other trail. So here we're in pass two, and I'm going to go, I think it's about 13.1 where it cuts off. Um, so we'll sit here and hold the throttle and pedal for eight seconds. And then we let go. Right now we're slightly coasting downhill, but we'll see here in a second that it maintains speed. Yeah, yeah it is. So that's how you set it. So again, you hold your information button, the plus key, or the information plus. Hold that for two to three seconds for the little dial for the uh, cruise control to pop on. And then you have to pedal or pedal and hold your throttle for eight seconds at least on the uh, top speed of the pass setting. Okay, so we had done the I button and plus button in order to make the uh, little cruise control icon pop up on the display. And then I'm in pass two, so the high speed of the pass two setting is 13.1, I think it is. So what we'll have to do is pedal and use throttle for eight seconds at that speed for the cruise control to hold. going downhill a little bit right here but we'll shortly be going uphill so let's see so it's pulling up the hill right now so cruise control is on and that's how you do it give it a chance to do it on its own see so yeah it's holding steady up this hill which is pretty steep so it's holding itself steady around 11 miles an hour 11 and a half so it's kind of nice to have cruise control you can just take a break have your wrist have a break and you're pedaling take a break
almost wish this bike had highway pegs, some, some kind of foot pegs that you can rest your feet forward on the bike. a couple of other e-bikes out. Cruise control is really nice for resting this wrist. So. up near the battery. Too bad you guys can't see that. You're okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, you're okay. <laughs> it's nice to see a lot of people out during the day enjoying the weather. Let's 
try not to wreck today, huh? Sounds like a plan to me. about home again so I'd like to say thank you for watching if you would please like and subscribe the uh, I'm writing the Juliet so if you're interested in purchasing a Juliet or a Romeo or Romeo Pro or the new version of the Juliet the Juliet 2 there are some, a few links in my description um, and if you purchase through those links then I make a little bit of money and it should help me out for saving up for a uh, editing computer so anyways, I hope you have a good day and I thank you for watching.